everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival from Python Dread. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. I am doing very, very well. We're on the 26th episode in Season 3 and guys, today we are working on the fish tanks. That is right, my friends. And what that also means is we're going to be taking a silk touch pickaxe and we are heading to the coral reef and digging up a ton of stuff now i've done my calculations and around three stacks of each color should do the job now the only color i don't think i'm going to use is pink because we have eight here there's five colors of coral so i decided to just leave one color out so we can have two of each color so yeah it's going to be blue purple red and yellow there we go sounds like a cool idea doesn't it so i've already got the designs for the actual fish tanks in mind and i already have ideas for a future thing we could do with them more to the point the tops of the fish tanks you know we could connect them all together and make a raised pathway that could be a cool idea right so yeah guys if you guys are excited for today's episode as always a like rating would be very much appreciated if we could keep it up with 2,000 likes per episode that would be absolutely beautiful but guys i mean come on and the last episode we made this just it's it's a bad boy isn't it it's a bad bad boy it is it is beautiful it really, really is. So, uh, yeah, hasn't been much in terms of rates so far. But like I say, as we go along and uh, begin lighting up caves, things will get a lot better. So, ladies and gentlemen, if I remember correctly, the uh, the coral biome was to the north of our island base, right? So, let's go ahead and get over there and let's have a little bit of a look at what's going on. Well, guys, here we are at the coral reef. Plenty of stuff's going on around here. I think it would make sense if we started around here, actually, because, you know, it's a nice shallow area and we don't really need to worry too much about water breathing. Now, uh, let me just remind myself... Oh, you can't use shears to get those? Huh, interesting. So it is literally only a silk touch pickaxe you need uh, to, like, pick up all of this stuff, right? Uh, what if I dig up the block like that? Ah, that'll get rid of it as well. Oh man. So I'm going to have to like manually like pop off all of these things to grab the coral fans and whatnot. Because obviously that's going to be something else uh, we use within the build today. Uh, but yeah, a little bit sad that uh, it doesn't make the, you know, coral fans pop off. But, oh well. Ah, this will make getting all of this uh, coral stuff a bit more nice. I love the music. I truly do. I know I keep saying it. I know I do. Just the music in 1.13 that was added, it, it's so good. Like, it almost instantly starts playing as soon as you enter the ocean. And it's just kind of nice. Alrighty, guys. So, we're just in the process of trying to grab ourselves our last few bits of coral here. Like I said, I've got three stacks of each and the purple coral is the last color to get three stacks of. Uh, okay, so 13 more. Uh-huh, we're gonna go for the, like, full three stacks as well. We're not gonna, like, do things by half measures. So, yeah, so what, that's, like, eight more. Uh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Right, there we go. That should be three stacks of every single type of coral. Uh, apparently there's one missing. Oh, there it is. Aha! You thought you could get away from me, sir? Yeah, a fairly significant part of this uh, here coral biome has actually been dug out now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it would be nice if these block coral blocks were, like, actually renewable. But aside from trading, uh, they're really not. Alrighty, guys. So what we've got going on here is uh, this uh, concrete goes down a little bit. Then we've got some glass. And then the glass is holding up the sand. So as we go ahead and go up, uh, each of these fish tanks is going to be 10 blocks tall. Which is, you know, why I got so much coral. Uh, because we're going to be using the coral as a little bit of an accent block. That is right. I think it is going to look absolutely beautiful i really really do so uh we need to figure out what we want to do with this like these three blocks here i'm not entirely sure just yet i mean they're going to be connected anyway via the eventual pathway that will be going around the tops of the fish tanks right uh so yeah but anyways what i want to do is i actually want to use white stained glass because i think white stained glass uh with the coral blocks could actually look really really cool so uh there we go got some bone meal and uh, we've got quite a lot of glass going on in here now. So uh, that's obviously very, very nice. There we go. Okay, cool. Right, and then what we're going to do is go up 10 blocks. 10, that is right. So that's two. Oh, dang, blast it. All right, I mean, if we could do without the mistake, that'd be fantastic. So uh, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then we're going to do this in all of the corners. Here we go. Okay, so again, two, four, six, eight, and ten. Okay, cool stuff. And we're also going to go ahead and put uh, white concrete to top it all off as well. So, uh, you know, just something to uh, bear in mind. But anyways, uh, let's keep ourselves going now. And yeah, hopefully we can make ourselves some good progress. Alrighty, guys. And now we have the task of actually filling up the fish tank. Alright, so that's one layer done. And obviously what we need to do is make all of these blocks into source water blocks as well. Uh, which actually might take a little bit longer than I would have wanted. But, you know, it's a case of needs to must, I guess. Like, if we want to put soul sand in here to make little bubble streams, then, yeah, we're, we're gonna have to do this thing. So, yeah. All right, well, uh, yeah, let's get back in here. Let's seal ourselves in and we won't be able to get out until we poke, poke out the top, I guess. So, yeah. But, yeah, this should be fairly simple for the most part. All right, so that bit's done. That bit's done. Okay, there we go. And then we just sort of continue on with the various layers of water, right? Yeah, should be fairly simple to be honest with you. There you go, cool. Hopefully this shouldn't take too much time. Well guys, here we go. We have ourselves the actual fish tank done. It's filled up and now all we've got to do is decorate it and light it up. Once again, we don't really have easy access to uh, sea lanterns yet. So we're going to continue using glowstone. And to be honest, I think glowstone might actually work better uh, against the coral, perhaps? I could be wrong. I don't really know until I try, right? So, yeah, right. So, let's go ahead and get all of this going. And, uh, yeah, once again, it should illuminate the area quite nicely, uh, which is, you know, quite good. Right, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. So, let's have a look at it now. All right, looking kind of decent. And now, in my creative world, I went ahead and I surrounded it with prismarine stairs. Uh, but the only thing is, I didn't really take into consideration that would actually go out into the ocean. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I'll have to go ahead and uh, figure that out in just a second here. But for now, all I want to do is just sort of get this going. There we go. And we're going to do the same at the top, sort of with the uh, upside down stairs, uh, to sort of curve it off a little bit. And I think that should look pretty darn cool. Right, what do we want to do here? Actually, with that all, I don't know. We've got these middle blocks here, and these are now taken up by stairs, right? And these sections here, in fact, let's get rid of that section all together. So this is going to have glowstone in it, right? And then this is going to be glass. If, if, if I, sorry, no, not glass. It's going to be coral blocks, right? If the design is consistent, that is. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Right. We really need to figure out what to put here, though. Maybe we just put prismarine blocks there. I mean, that could work, I guess. Maybe. I don't know, man. I'll tell you what. Why don't we go ahead and get a second tank going with a different color. And uh, let's see how it looks once it's all up and going, right? Alrighty, folks. I think I've got an idea as to what I can put in these little gaps here. If I was to go down, uh, well, let's fill this thing with water first. So there we go. Fill it with water. Do the same for these two as well. Ooh, a glass block. Hey, don't mind if I do. I will take that block. It is very sacred to me. <laughs> All right, well, uh, yeah, let's get... Uh, wait, what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we're trying to get this thing back on. There we go. So, if we go down to the bottom and then replace the bottom with sand, I'm pretty sure I should be able to... Oh, I don't need to put sand down. Interesting. I didn't know that. I thought you could only place down, uh, you know, kelp. Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought you could only place kelp upon sand and dirt and gravel and such. Huh. Okay. Well, I learned something new today, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Alrighty, guys. So, it's looking pretty decent so far. Yeah, I'm kind of liking the prismarine at the bottom here. Yeah, we, so we got the red tower going on here. And, yeah, it's starting to look pretty good. It's starting to look pretty darn good. Now, one thing I do want to do is I want to place some red and blue at the top. So, yeah. I don't know. I think it could look pretty cool. So, why don't we go ahead and give it a little bit of a go with you guys. So, let's do the edges with glass rather like this. And then maybe we could have like a little bit of a plus shape of these. Right? Huh? Uh, yeah, I, th I think that could look pretty good, right? 
And then on the map, when we eventually update it, I think it will look really, really cool. So there we go. And like I said, this is going to be the walkway as well. This is going to be the top walkway, which is going to connect all of the fish tanks together. And I think it's going to look absolutely fantastic. So, uh, like I say, why don't we go ahead and update the map real quick. And we'll see how this thing is really looking. Also, I kind of need this dirt because I'm low-key using it as scaffolding. So, yeah. <sighs> all dirt now belongs to me. Although it always did. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, cool. Right, so let's get back on it and let's update the map. I'm interested. I'm actually interested to see what it looks like. Okay, so blue, you can go there. Red, you can go there. And we're looking for map, what, what was it, 113? Uh, that one, yes. Okay, cool. Oh, that looks cool! Yo, you can see the red and the blue, dude. Oh, mate, that looks, that looks banging. I like it. I like it a lot, dude. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, cool. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Misplacing, misplacing. Come on, Python. Come on, Python, Eddie. You can do this thing, man. All right, so let's bring this all the way around and around here as well. Connect that up rather like that. Okay, there we go. And again, update the map and yeah. It's kind of weird. They look like, like targets. <laughs> they look like targets on the map. It's actually kind of weird, but oh well. It looks pretty decent as well. Now, I did want to go ahead and put like an upside down stair thing up there as well. So uh, let's go and grab out these stairs here. Let's go up top and let's get that put into action. Okay, so upside down stairs rather like this. Let's get up. Okay, this should be fairly simple. Uh, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get it done and let's see how it's looking. Alrighty, and then what we could potentially do as we go along and start gathering a supply of prismarine, like regular prismarine, is we could put prismarine walls up because uh, we haven't really used prismarine walls that much aside from on the hostile mob drop trap farm over there. You can see uh, some slight accents of them like in the corners there. I think it looks pretty cool. And then yeah, I think we could have ourselves a really nice walkway up here. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, let's get down real quick. Oh, Jesus. There we go. Yeah. So, I left those white bits bare because that's where the uh, pathway is going to be. Uh, so, yeah. Cool. This is looking awesome. Okay, right. I'm not entirely sure that we're going to get all of these done in today's episode. Uh, because, yeah, I've already like being recording for well over an hour just getting this done like it's actually taken a fair amount of time i'll be honest with you but uh, honestly i think it's worth it i really really do so i think we're going to go and get these two done and then get these two done over here with uh, purple and yellow and we'll actually get some decorations done inside them as well and then get some fish in there hopefully so yeah let's get it going let's get the yellow and the purple up and then we'll go from there ladies and gents Alrighty, guys it has been quite some time since the last cut but i did what i said i'd do and that was to get the yellow and the purple fish tanks installed and as you can see this is starting to look pretty good i imagine once we get the uh, concrete bridge in uh, this could be looking very very nice honestly i think this could be looking very very nice once it is all done so uh, yeah as the pattern goes uh after this one in this corner we'll have ourselves like yellow and then purple again and then on this corner over here it'll be red and then blue so yeah it's a bit of a sort of color pattern going on but anyways guys yeah check it out we have ourselves uh everything filled in and uh, we got ourselves a nice little bit of prismarine as a bit of an accent here which is really really nice uh so guys i guess all that's left to do is grab ourselves some soul sand and some various decoration related blocks and stuffs and get some fish so yeah let's organize our inventory and let's go and do that together to finish off the episode Alrighty, guys so here we are shall we go ahead and start off with a couple bubble columns i think that'll be a nice little start should we have three of them i think three will be a good number two three there we go. Hey, hey, already, already that has made this place look so much better. Okay, so uh, remind me, can I place these on the floor? Yes, I can. Okay, so should we go ahead and place down like a couple on each of the pillars here? Uh, why not? A couple of each color, that is. Uh, so there we go. A couple of pink ones. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Looking pretty good. Oh, wait, is that, that's placed upon the glass. What? You can place coal on glass now? Huh. I mean, ever since... Oh. 
Did I just ruin things? Mm, or did I? Yeah, I did. I did. So actually, yeah, we can't have them in the corners there. Uh huh. That's a little bit sad, but oh well. Doesn't matter too much. I mean, as long as we're not interrupting the bubble columns, that is kind of all right. So yeah. Dude, that's actually really cool though. I did not know you could do that. Legitimately. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, so it gives us more decoration opportunities, I guess. So, you know, that's obviously really, really nice. Uh, let's get some red ones up real quick. Uh huh. Yeah. And I love the fact that the ocean music is kicked in again. Oh, you love to hear it, guys. You do. You love to hear it. I certainly love to hear it. I love this music. Okay, so yeah, boom, boom. Uh, boom. Uh, some more in the corners, maybe? Yeah. We're, we're, we should have... There's, like, sections that don't really have a lot of coral going on. So I want to try and fix that real quick. Uh, and then maybe a couple on the floor down here, rather like this. Don't want to go too overboard with it. And then, of course, we've got uh, the ability to have pickles. Because why not? Some seagrass, maybe? And then, finally, some kelp. I mean, you gotta have kelp, my friends. You do. You gotta have kelp. All right, so that should be it. So if I grab out this uh, glass real quick and get out here. Uh, boom and a boom. And that should be it. All right, let's have a look at it. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? Huh? I love it. I absolutely love it, guys. I really, really do. So, yeah. That's one out of four. Let's go and do the other ones. And then after that. Well, to go ahead and uh, make a ton of buckets and grab some fish, right? Hmm, what's our iron supply looking like? Uh, oh, okay, so I can make, what, six more buckets? Uh-huh, uh-huh, interesting. So, yeah, we can grab ourselves seven fish at a time. So, I guess that's a pretty decent amount. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get the rest of these things decorated, huh? Alrighty, guys, I won't lie. I've actually already done a collection of uh, tropical fish from the uh, from the coral reef biome to the far north. But we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some more uh, simply so we can, like, populate these things a little bit more. I've got, like, two in each, and then there's, like, one that's got one because, you know, we've got seven... Uh, uh, buckets and not eight so yeah but anyways i brought you guys back because i wanted to have a look at the map let's see oh guys that is looking pretty awesome isn't it i mean come on that's looking good that is looking very very nice i'm a big fan of that all right guys well let's go ahead back on our boat wherever the devil that is uh, anyway it is yep and we're gonna go to the north and get ourselves some more tropical fishies all right where are you elusive little buggers aha here we go i'm gonna grab you i'm gonna grab one of you okay oh yeah these have actually got names now. I forgot about that. Stripey grey blue. We've got an actual clownfish. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. Right. Any other, like, unique little fishy? Fishy McFish face? Uh-huh. I mean, it doesn't look like it so far, does it? I love these guys. Seriously. Oh, oh yeah. There's still, like, a whole bunch of floating blocks, huh? Okay. Right. Aha! Good day to you, sir. What are you? I think these are just cod. Okay, uh, do we want any cod? Eh, do you know what, Sonic? We'll, we'll, we'll grab some cod as well. I mean, I want to try and grab as many fish as I can. Like, as many different fish as I can. The the what? The Moorish Idol? That's an interesting name. Oh, no, I don't want to grab that guy. <laughs> I could have a puffer fish, but uh, uh, no. Sorry, puffer fish. You've hurt me one too many times in the past there, broski. How about a big fat no? <laughs> well, guys, if I'm super quick, I should just be able to poke these fish in through this hole here. So, uh, hopefully... Oh! Oh, no! Where's the glass? Uh, glass? Hello? What the... Oh, I didn't use a silk touch pickaxe. Python? You... Oh, jeez, man. Well, that was a stupid thing, wasn't it? I'm, I'm really, really smart sometimes, aren't I? Anyways, right. Hopefully no fish have flowed out. But anyways, uh, yeah. Right. One fish in there. One fish in there. And boof. There we go. Pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the cod in this one. Uh, because why not? Boop. There you go. 
All yours. All right, and then we'll put the other two remaining tropical fish in uh, these two pens over here. Or not pens. Uh, you know what I'm on about. The, 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 the fish tanks. The fish tanks, my friends. The fish tanks. Right. Uh, can I like... There you go. Because you have to place them against something, don't you? Uh-huh. Okay. So let's do this final one. Uh, again, with a couple more tropical fish here. Uh, you can go over there and close it up. Closed for business. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen... We are just about done for today's episode. Oh, yeah. We've done pretty well today, haven't we? We've got these these four fish tanks going. And they're looking pretty darn good, aren't they? Now, we need to mirror that four more times on this. Uh, well, not mirror it four more times because that would mean I need 16 of them. But, uh, yeah, I need to mirror this, like, uh, like over here. And then, yeah, we'll have ourselves a, a really nice central circle area. So anyways, let's go to sleep and let's get the comment question of the video. Alrighty guys, so here we are. Camman7878 asks, Hi Python, have you ever considered shaders in your world? I feel like you should try them uh, when completing your giant sea temple farm. The water and the glass will look truly amazing. Yeah, you're quite right. They really, really would. Now the reason why I don't use shaders on this world is because A, I don't use Optifine. However, I probably will do uh, when there's a version for 1.14.3. Oh, look, there's actually dudes in here now. But, uh, yeah, I have considered using them, but uh, I kind of, I don't know. I've, as much as they are nice, I don't think I can see myself using them, like, permanently. Because I don't really feel like it makes the world that accessible to you guys, right? Like, I feel like I want to provide uh, a non-misleading world. Th does that make sense? Like, I don't want to use shaders and then you guys get the world and it just looks sort of in air quotes, normal. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's difficult to explain, but certainly for like really special milestone episodes, I could do like a bonus episode, which isn't numbered, where I just go through the world and just look at it in shaders. Like when this entire base comes to a point where I feel like it's complete, then yeah, it could be really, really nice to check it out with shaders. But yeah, for now, Anyway, we are going to be sticking with Default Vanilla. And for now as well, we're going to end off the episode. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, as always, a like rating would be very much appreciated. Hit the subscribe button. Ding that bell as well if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, I want to thank you for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.